Hi, I'm Steve Adubato. It is my pleasure to welcome for the first time Dr. Steve Landers, President and Chief Executive Officer of a great organization called the Visiting Nurse Association Health Group. Good to see you, Steve. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Uh, Steve, let's talk about the Visiting Nurse Association. What is it? Visiting Nurse Association Health Group, we're a nonprofit organization that works throughout the state of New Jersey, and we help people in home setting, community setting, uh, really on, on bad days when the chips are down. Maybe they're trying to get out of a hospital and need extra help. Uh, we are trying to help people when they're coming home from surgeries, joint replacement surgery, heart surgery, uh, trying, working to help people uh, late in life, at the end of life, with home hospice care uh, so that families are supported and people can uh, have those days be as comfortable um, and have as much independence and dignity as possible. Tough situations, right? A lot of hard situations, yeah. We're, we're doing uh, a lot of things that uh, people don't like to think about and talk about, those mm -hmm. tough days in life, uh, maybe days when you're in the shadow. Uh, but uh, family caregivers are, are working with their loved ones. Uh, we have nurses, therapists, social workers out there uh, making you know, hundreds of thousands of home visits a year in Jersey helping people at those times. And you actually, um, by way of background, a family physician, geriatric medicine? That's right. Explain that to folks. What does that mean, geriatric uh, medicine? Geriatric medicine. I'm an elder care specialist. There's actually uh, an advanced specialty of physician training where you can become uh, more knowledgeable about treating older adults. People, uh, they say over 65, but quite frankly, most people that need geriatric care are 85 and above. Uh, it's a big growth population, as you know, uh, nationally because of the, demo bigger? the demographics. Absolutely. Uh, overall. Living longer. People are, are living longer, but with the baby boomers, uh, the aging of that generation is, is really, you know, thousands of people uh, a day are, are, are becoming 85 and older. Uh, that, that population is going to triple over the next uh, 30 years. So we've got to, as a, as a um, state, as a, as a country, really make sure that we're uh, able to help. In that. How'd you get into it? Why do you care so much about this uh, pop particular population and the challenges they face? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a family doc originally. And from what Cleveland. I, from Cleveland. That's right. I grew up in Cleveland, Ohio, and did my medical training in Cleveland, Ohio. Worked at a, a Cleveland clinic running their home care. And, Not a bad place. And, and working in their <laughs> geriatrics group. And what I learned, you know, when I was in medical school, quite frankly, is that older people, their families uh, are often not tended to, particularly in the home setting where they want to be. They want to be home if they can. Um, I started making home visits, you know, brought the black bag. You did. Did, did over 5,000 home visits to frail elders. And just, I'd show up at the door, and uh, the family caregiver would sometimes almost break down just in gratitude that somebody was helping them out because they're having a tough time. If right. you're dealing with a loved one with Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, or stroke, or bad heart disease, and you've been bouncing around, gone to the hospital, maybe in a rehab facility, it's hard. It's hard for the, the person and the family. And so I realized really quickly there's so much need. Yeah. You know, uh, I should... There's all kinds of disclosures I make about relationships we have, but this one is a, um, a particularly uh, challenging one, but I also need to thank you and your folks. My family does, too, because the Visiting Nurse Association has been caring for my dad uh, through hospice, um, who's been dealing with some really challenging issues for a while now. And I would not have known. I mean, we've done programs on hospice care, but it, it, would be hard, it was hard for our family, for me personally, to really understand what that care was until those nurses and the other clinical professionals came in to do what they were doing, particularly for my mom, who's really been um, charged with the most responsibility with my dad. It's extraordinary. It's, it's really in incredible, and it's not, not talked about a lot, not talked about enough. Uh, and hospice, the, the thing is hospice is more care, not less. Uh, when, when people, people get think, uh, right away, people, people are like, oh, so this is it. That's right. The, the, the gut, you know, sort of the, the knee jerk reaction is that uh, we've given up, there's nothing left to do. And the fact of the matter is, there's a lot we can do for people with serious late stage illness when other medical treatments aren't working. We can, like. uh, we can help make sure that uh, they're not in pain. We can make sure that people have the social support they need with the basics of life, you know, just uh, you know, the, the personal care issues. We can make sure the family's supported and has the right uh, help and equipment in the home. Uh, we can help people tend to some of their spiritual issues, actually part of hospice care includes um, pastoral care. And we have um, 
Uh, we have reverends and rabbis as part of our staff. So uh, th Social there's a lot, workers, there's, they're all there. Absolutely. There's yeah. so much we can do to help people and provide more care, not less. And, you know, ultimately, at some point, mm -hmm. death is a part of life and making sure that we help people and families have the most uh, dignified and supported um, situation, I think, is, a, is, a, is an important thing, and, and I'm proud to be a part of it. Steve, what is the 2020 vision campaign? The 2020 vision campaign is an effort by Visiting Nurse Association Health Group uh, to raise money for our philanthropic services. These are things like what we call Advanced Care Institute. This is palliative care, hospice care, and home right. visiting physicians. We actually have 30 uh, physicians and nurse practitioners that are doing home visiting medical care in the state of New Jersey. It's a hard thing uh, to, to get up and, and sustain, and the, the support that we're getting through the 2020 Vision Campaign is helping that go. Another area uh, we haven't talked about yet that Visiting Nurse Association is very involved in is actually children's health care. Children. Um, many children uh, that are uh, dealing with things like developmental issues, autism and other developmental spectrum concerns, um, maybe they're in socially vulnerable situations in high poverty neighborhoods. We have nurses and community health workers that go out and work with those families trying to make sure that they get the type of services that they need, make sure that they are on a path to mm -hmm. have, you know, the, basically accomplish as much in life as they can. Mm -hmm. uh, they're working with uh, pregnant women in uh, high poverty neighborhoods trying to help them uh, be in a safe situation where they're mm -hmm. less less at risk for domestic violence and other bad outcomes. That's our Children and Family Health Institute. What is the Connective, uh, help me on this, the Connective Health Institute? That's right. We have Connected Health Institute. Connected Health Institute. Give me 30 seconds on that. Yeah, the Connected Health Institute is uh, an effort of ours to use mobile and digital technology to do all the things we've been talking about better. So we feel like if we're going to be great at home health care for older people, hospice care, children and family health services, we want to use that modern information technology, video conferencing into the home, um, apps so that people can access us off hours, better communication between mm -hmm. our staff, um, remote monitoring to the home where people are having their, their vital signs, the blood pressure checked, their uh, weights checked if it's relevant to their care remotely. Our Connected Health Institute, which is part of that 2020 vision right. campaign, is, is, is where we're really innovating to, to not just um, you know, provide uh, all of the things we know that are important about home care, but also to find ways to do it better and to innovate. Dr. Stephen Landers is the President and Chief Executive Officer of Visiting Nurse Association Health Group. Um, Steve, I want to thank you for joining us and, and you and your colleagues for what you do every day uh, for so many people who uh, need that help. Thank you so much. Thank Stay you. Right there. We'll be right back right after this.